everyone, it's Rachel, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a kawaii blueberry pie cat using polymer clay. So let's get started. To begin, you want to find something that you can use for your blueberry pies tin. Here I have a bottle cap which is the perfect size and it also has the scalloped looking edges. You can purchase packets of these in stores like I did, you just need to firstly remove the plastic lining. I'm then taking my Sculpey Bacon Bond liquid clay and I'm spreading this around inside my bottle cap and this is going to help attach the unbaked clay to the metal surface. I then took a very light tan colour of clay for the pastry and here I'm just rolling this clay into a long snake on my work surface. I then flattened it down slightly and I began lining the edge of my bottle cap with this colour for the crust of the blueberry pie. Once I had made it all the way around, I then trimmed off any excess clay using my blade. You then want to take one of your tools or the handle of one of your tools to give the pastry some shape and give it that scalloped look edge. Now it's time to give the pastry or the crust some texture. So here I'm using a toothbrush and I'm just gently patting the clay with the bristles all the way around before then going ahead and also adding some shading to make it look like it's been baked. So for this I'm using a fluffy paintbrush and also my mixture of brown and gold chalk pastels and I'm just lightly dusting this all over the clay. You'll then want to take some more liquid clay and apply this into the centre of the bottle this time. And then we are going to be filling the centre with some scrap clay. This is because this clay isn't actually going to be seen, so it doesn't really matter what colour you use. I have this glittery purple clay which was left over from some Galaxy Charms I was making. And I just pressed this in using my large ball tool. Next, we're moving on to making the actual blueberries. So take some dark blue colored clay and roll this into a long, thin snake. Then take your blade and trim off tiny little pieces all about roughly the same size for the blueberries and roll each of these into a little ball. This part here can be quite time consuming, which is definitely the bonus of adding the scrap clay in the middle of our blueberry pie so that we don't have to completely fill it with all of the little blueberries. I'm now taking my Sculpey Bacon Bond and my Fimo Liquid Deco Gel and I'm mixing the two of these together on a sheet of baking paper. I'm then scraping in some dark blue chalk pastel shavings and mixing this all around to create the sauce for the blueberry pie. The reason I mixed my two liquid clays together is because the Sculpey Bacon Bond gives me a nice thick consistency whereas the Fimo Deco Gel makes the colour look a little bit more transparent and sauce-like rather than having a very opaque blue color. So here you can see that I'm adding the berries one by one into my pie and I'm covering them with the blueberry sauce that I made. I did have to go back and make more blueberries so definitely make more than you think you'll need. Next up, it's time to create the pastry to go on top of the pie. So here I have that same light tan color of clay, which I'm rolling down on my work surface and cutting to size. I also added texture with my toothbrush and some shading exactly the same as I did with a pastry crust at the beginning of the video. Once I was happy with it, I then carefully removed it from my work surface. And then here you can see that I'm adding three strips in one direction and cutting off the excess on one side. I then also have three strips to go in the other direction and I'm making these look like they have been woven on with the pastry going over and under and over and under. It does take a little bit of playing around, but it's definitely worth it for the final product. So once I was happy with my weaving, I've cut off all the extra bits and then it's time to move on to the kawaii cat to actually go inside the pie. I rolled a white piece of clay for the head and then here I'm creating the ears by firstly making a diamond and then cutting it in half so that I have two even sized ears. 
Then here I'm attaching on some black clay to create the face and also a little nose. I attached two whiskers on either side of the head and then I took some more of my white polymer clay to roll into a long teardrop which I curled and shaped into the tail. Part of the cat that I didn't show myself making on camera was the little neck to attach to the head because I went back later and did it so that my cat's head wasn't completely submerged in the blueberry pie. So you will see it in the final product but I didn't have the chance to film me making it. Finally, I created two little white teardrops for the cat's paws, which I made sticking out the front of the design. And then I placed in the cat's head in the center so that it looks like it was peeking out. For a final detail, I decided to add some of the blueberry sauce and blueberries onto the cat's head. So here I'm shaping the sauce into a random splatter with some of it dripping down the sides. And then I also placed on some of the blueberries and covered them in sauce as well. At this point, it's time to bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. After baking, I decided to add some UV resin to all of the blueberry parts to make them look nice and shiny so that the sauce still had that really nice effect to it. So here is what the kawaii blueberry pie cat looks like once it's completely finished. I'm really happy with this overall design and how it turned out. You can see on the back that some of the blueberry sauce did drizzle down a little bit further than I would have liked, but I'm not really too worried because if it was really sauce I wouldn't be able to control it anyway. So if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys! <music>